Hey, what's up? Let me ask you a question. Why do you think money is important? You see, in today's society, a lot of people have a very bad negative connotation with money. It may not be their fault, you know. They grew up with parents arguing about bills, having issues with finances, and it gets drilled in your mind every single day at a very young age that money is no good. And even society, from our educational systems, and you even see it on TV, we are being educated and convinced that rich people are evil. Now, let me ask you this question again. Why is money so important? Most people will write down, money is important because I need to buy a house. Money is important because I need to buy a car. Money is important because I want to fly around the world and consume and consume and consume. That's a general notion around money because money buys you things. However, that's not how the mega rich, that's not how the wealthy individuals view money as. You see, money doesn't buy you things. Money doesn't buy you houses. Money doesn't buy you cars. It does buy you physically, but what money truly gives you is time. Time is the most precious commodity on the planet. I can't reverse time and buy that time I lost. However, I can buy future time. You see, this is an exercise I did not too long ago. I calculated in my day how much time I spend doing mundane tasks. Let's say cooking, shopping, grocery, cleaning around the house, emails, walking the dog. And I made this list. I think I had 22 bullet points in it. And I, and I put a time unit on a weekly basis on how much time do I think I spend doing these tasks. And I was shocked at how much time, my precious time was taken up throughout the week doing this. And I said, I'm not worth this. I know what my hourly wage is. <laughs> and I don't want to be doing this anymore. And that's when I had an aha uh -huh, eureka moment. And I realized, wait a minute, money, money should be called time units. And this gave a different type of paradigm shift in thinking is like, instead of thinking money as money, let's think of time units. So what does this mean? The more time units you have in your life, the more future time you will have. Imagine this, imagine in the future you don't have to cook, you don't have to clean, you don't have to do grocery, you don't have to walk your dog, you don't have to do any of these mundane tasks. How much more free time will you have to spend with your kids, to spend with your wife, to spend with your loved one, to spend time doing what you love to do? And that's the power of having as much time units as possible. So this is what I want you to do today. I want you to do the same exercise I did. I want you to write down all the activities you do on a week to week basis and put down how much time you spend on each single exercise and then add up the time and then ask yourself, am I worth this time? Am I paying myself accordingly to do these things? If the answer is no, that means you need to get more time units because there's nothing more precious in this life than time. And I don't know about you, but me personally, I want to spend as much time with my friends and my family and doing things that I love to do. I don't want to shop. I don't want to cook. I don't want to clean. Instead, I want to spend time with my fiance. I want to spend time with my friends eating out. I want to spend time doing philanthropy work. So change this paradigm in your mind and don't view money as negative. Instead, view money as a time unit. And the more time units you can accumulate in your life, the more opportunity you have to do whatever you want to do. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more videos like this, subscribe to my YouTube channel, share this video, and remember, you can become anything you want in this life. It only takes one step at a time. Have a great day.